Hey, 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 y'all. This is Bradley of Bradley Teaches. Once again, day four, Vlogmas, right? Showing you guys simple, quick, easy graphics and animations you can do for your videos using Keynote. And because we've started on this animation track now, I want to show you how to do probably the most common thing that people have asked me to show them how to do. And that is a countdown timer animation. And we're going to see if we can knock this out in less than 10 minutes. So let's jump into Keynote and make it happen, y'all. So here we are in Keynote one more time, right? Let's start up a new presentation. Drag, select all, delete. So what we're going to do is create a countdown timer. Color fill, no fill on the slide. So we're going to do a countdown timer with a background on it. So let's go to 50% and let's build the background first. So here's our background here. And we're going to put a cutout in the middle of it, of a circle, right? So let's make that circle. Option shift, drag out so we can get a good decent size. Center that. Select both of those. Format, shapes and lines. Subtract shapes. Now we have our background. And while we're here right now, let's go ahead and knock that opacity down on that so people can see us through it. We're going to put it down to about 60%. And you know what? I'm going to fill it with a gradient fill just because I can. All right. Blue over blue. All right. So now let's get to the animation portion. Let's make another circle and I'll make it green so I can see it. Option shift to drag out and size it from the middle. All right. So now I'm going to put a color fill of no fill on it. I'm going to make a border on it of line. And let's give this a white border for now and kick it up pretty big. It's a nice, decent size, right? Okay. So we're going to do a countdown timer animation that actually goes around a circle as if it's going around a clock, right? Now to do that, the first thing we have to do, which is kind of weird, but we have to rotate the circle to make the animation look proper. Let me show what the animation looks like first and then show you what it looks like fixed. So we're going to go to our animate palette. We're going to go to build in, add an effect. And because this now has a line around it, we have the added feature of a line draw. So as you see here, it drew the line around, but it started from the side instead of from the middle, right? So what we have to do is make sure we select that circle. We're going to go back to format, click on a range, and we need to change the rotation angle to 45 degrees. We want to get that right hand corner up to the top. As you see here, as it tilted, right? So now if we go back to animate and down here at the bottom, we can click on the build order palette. Click on that so you can get the little window to pop open and let's preview it again. So now it starts from the middle. That's what we want. All right. So now we have the first element, which is a circle with a line around it. Line draw animation. We're going to go clockwise. No ease in or ease out. We're going to put none on that. And we're going to make this animation go three. Well, make it go five seconds. All right, five seconds. All right. Now you can change the time based on what you want, but we're doing it for time constraints right now. But that's it. So preview it again. And the animation goes around in five seconds. Right. So now let's open up our object list. And we're going to option, click, drag, and make two more circles. And what a good thing to do right now is the top circle, let's call it three, the middle circle, call it two, and the bottom circle, call it one, because that's kind of the order they're going to animate in, right? So the bottom circle, we can click that. We'll leave it white. It's fine. Circle number two, let's go back to format, style, and we're going to put the line on that one as red. And then circle number three, let's click that over here, line green, right? And because of how they're stacked is how you see them now. Now, over now, when you have the build order palette open, we got to change the order that they're going to animate in. This has nothing to do with how they're layered, 
but this is just how they animate in and what order they animate in. So we're going to put these in a proper order. One, two, three. So drag two under one, drag three to the bottom. So now we're going to number one is going to animate in number two. Let's drag it up into one after build one is fine. Then three, we're going to drag it up into build two and it should say after build two, it's fine. No delays on any of them. So now what we want to do is after they animate in, we want them to animate out because we want this animation to loop when we use it on our live streams, right? We don't want it to go around one time, then just stop. And we want the loop to look seamless. So we want to be able to have all of them come in, then they disappear and then start over without a hitch in the animation, right? So now we're going to click on three, two, and one. Let's click on one first, and we're going to go to animate, build out. And the effect we want is just a basic effect of disappear. We're going to click number two, build out, disappear, three, build out. But we're going to use line draw for this one to build itself out. We want it to have that kind of look that it just showed. Okay. So now we're going to drag number one into three and we want it to disappear with number three. So as number three draws, the bottom layer will just disappear. All right. Number two, we want it to disappear with number three, but we want a little bit of a delay on it. We don't want it green to be out there by itself on top of blank. We still want to see the red as the third one draws itself in. So we're going to say with three, with a little bit of a delay, we're going to put four and a half seconds, right? And then finally, number three will draw itself out at the very end after step five. So now let's preview all of this. One draws in, two draws in, Three draws in and number one disappeared and number two will disappear right as number three gets to where it's going. Right. So number three, I just noticed something. We got to go in here and fix that how it leaves. Right. So we want to take the ease in. We have number three selected, build out. The duration is five like the others. We want it to not ease in, ease out. Right. So now it's smooth. So now we have our background done. We have the animations coming in where the last animation actually draws itself out to help us have a smooth loop in our animation when the first one draws back in again. So now all we need to do is export it. File, export, movie. Same as last time. We don't want anything before or after. So we put zeros here. Custom 1920 1080, 30 frames per second. Apple ProRes 4444 4, because we have a transparent hole in the middle. Then we have opacity turned down around the edges. So we have kind of a dual layer kind of see through thing going on right now. We're going to hit next and we're going to say counter 01 and export. All right, and so now that it's exported, we're going to go over here to our main screen again, and then we're going to find the counter, drag it in, and we're going to put on loop so you guys can see how it works. So the first one comes in, and you can see me through it. First one comes in, second comes in, third comes in, and then the third one will draw itself away, and then because we've made the animation look like a seamless loop, the white line comes back in again as part of a seamless loop, right? And it will keep going as long as you need it as you add your animation clock in the middle based on whatever streaming app you're using to make your clock portion. So again, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Papa. Be blessed, be free. Hope you guys really like this. A quick and easy counter animation. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I'll catch y'all next time for the next Vlogmas. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.